Hey, I'm Melita, and uh, welcome to the Missions Firefly Cavern. This is something I uh, created for you guys to take a look at. It's uh, pretty simple. In fact, if I was doing it in my church, I probably would do it a little bit differently. But to be able to transport it around and use it multiple times, I built a series of flats and then faced it out with, with paper. But in my church, I would just put the paper right up on the wall, and just tape it to it, and have it wrap right up on the ceiling. But if you want to see behind it, let's see what I, I'll show you what I did. So these are just uh, some one by fours, and I just built some really simple flats. And instead of facing it with Luan or with any kind of wood, I just used insulation board. And then at the very top, I put an angle put an angle up on it so that you've got a little bit of a, a wrap around and, and kind of a dome shape. And again, in my church, I would simply wrap it right up onto the ceiling. Uh, but the advantage of doing it this way is if your church doesn't let you tape to walls or if you're going to be in a large space like a worship center, uh, you, can, you can still create this cavern look without having any uh, walls that you have to use. Another big advantage of, of using this uh, insulation board is that I can come with the paper, I can use T-pins and ta uh, pin the paper right in. I don't even have to tape it and that's so much easier. And for the walls, we just used brown paper. I bought contractor paper and crumpled it up. And if you crumple from the sides in, it helps to hide the edges and uh, you, you kind of lose the seams that make it look like paper. Uh, crumple it up first, and then I started from the, the top and one side and worked all the way around. And you just, uh, you know, shape it as you go. Make sure some places are far away from the wall, some places are right up close to it. And then you get that kind of rocky look. Uh, you can then come back in after you're done, and you can see I had long vertical panels, and then I came in just put little short pieces in. There's a short piece here and a short piece here to hide some of the seams and some of the holes and give it a, a little bit more realistic texture. And then came in just with some brown spray paint, some black spray paint, and just hit it in a couple of places. It, people get intimidated by that part but it's really the easiest I didn't even use a ladder I just reached up and sprayed and you still get this this great realistic look when you step back from it so people start freaking out when they when you start adding paints in and there really is no technique it doesn't have you don't have to do it in a certain order or anything I just came in and said ah oh, there's a crevice here I think I'm gonna hit a little black paint here and maybe I'll come here and I just did one color at a time because it was easier but you could you know, if you were really into it, could do black and brown at the same time. But there really is no order, and you really can't mess it up. In fact, if you don't like it, you just spray right over it. And we used the same paper when we set it up in Nashville for our, our video shoot. We, we laid it back out flat, rolled it up, brought it here. We're going to take it apart, roll it back up, use it again and again and again, and don't even have to spray paint it after you've done it the first time. So it's just really super easy. These, these are so cool, I think, the, the stalactites and the stalagmites. If you saw last year's Boomerang Express catalog or you saw the, the promotional video or you were here at one of these events, you saw a giant tree and a giant Ayers rock that was made out of quilt batting. Well, here it is again. It's totally recycled from last year because batting is expensive, so we were able to, to pull it off and reuse it again and again. The framework here is a tomato cage, and it's wrapped in chicken wire, so you have something for the, the batting to stick to. And then if you'll spray paint your batting, uh, you can just buy the really cheap polyester batting. And if you spray paint it brown first, let it dry, and then work in sections. Use an industrial or a, like a 3M a super adhesive, spray adhesive. Spray the sections and then you literally are just scrunching with your fingers and shaping it all the way down as you go. So you just get your shape. If you don't like it, pull it off, do it again. You can't mess it up, I promise. And then after it was all formed, I came in and used uh, honey yellow, a black spray paint, um, a, a red, a purple, just whatever colors you want to be able to get it in. So let's look inside. I'll show you how, how easy it is. So you can see it's just a tomato and it's just wrapped in chicken wire. You can hide the edges around at the bottom. And the great thing about this is it's so light, it'll hang from the ceiling in your church. And you don't have to worry about reinforcing it. Or, uh, or having some that will be reinforced to hand it. This is about three pounds. Really lightly.